I want to show you how to build a 16 dBi wireless LAN antenna for less than $10. This is six times more powerful than a standard antenna and manufacturers will easily charge you $100 for something with similar performance. Here's what you need. A slab of styrofoam or polyethylene foam used for packaging, some 1.5 square millimeter copper wire, two BNC connectors, a chassis part and a cable part, and a thin plate of brass approximately 12.5 cm square. Find the center of the brass plate and drill a hole 20 mm from the center for the BNC connector. You place the connector in the hole and mark where the fixing holes need to come. Drill the holes and fix the connector with small bolts. Next thing is to cut our foam. You make a 35 x 35 mm beam that is approximately 45 cm long. You also need to make two 12.5 cm square blocks with 35 mm square holes in the middle of them. The beam should fit in these holes. Make markings on the long foam beam every 30 mm and strip the installation wire. Wind the wire tightly around the beam exactly over the markings you made in a nice equal spiral. Remove the insulation material around the connector pin until the top is around 1 mm above the brass plate. Solder the wire horizontally to the pin using the insulation as a support. After soldering you can remove the excess wire at the connector and at the end of the antenna with a cutter. The wire must run 1 mm above the metal plate over a length of 30 mm before following the spiral shape. Check this carefully and place some tape under the wire to prevent short circuits. If one of the bolts is in the way of the wire, remove it. Now the foam squares can be pushed down and fixed with tape. To connect your wireless LAN card, you'll need a card that has an external antenna so you can cut the wire and solder a new connector onto it. I chose B and C connectors since they are easiest to solder. The detailed solder instructions can be found on the website of the connector manufacturer. Once this is done, connect your new antenna to your wireless LAN card and give it a go. Normal vertical antennas have a low gain in the horizontal plane around them. The new antenna has a very high gain but only in the direction the antenna is pointing at. So you must slowly rotate it to catch all the access points in the neighborhood. Look at this, the normal antenna picks up 7 access points, but the new antenna picks up 21. There you have it, your very own $10 ultra high gain wireless LAN antenna.